Hi guys, it's Matthias, and in today's video we'll be talking about the solo game mode of Warzone, which has been replaced with something called Stimulus. Now this is very different in a lot of very important aspects of Battle Royale, and in this video I will try to break down a few of the most important changes. Now when you spawn in, you spawn in with exactly $4,500 and those $4,500 are quite important for the rest of your gameplay. Because as long as you have that amount of money in your inventory, if you get killed, you will spawn back into the map almost immediately by dropping down somewhere randomly on the map instead of going to Gulag. Yeah, let's take a look at this kind of crazy situation. I was actually shot from behind at the same time as I took down that guy in front of me, and I think somebody just wants me dead. Whoa. Try to grasp how much this guy hates life right now. Try to put yourself in his position right now. I imagine my anger if I would have died there, realizing that I could have survived if I would have activated the dead silence. But yeah, hindsight's always 2020. Now after the update, we now find a lot more money on the map. I run around with a lot more money all the time. And just like before, if you die and you go to Gulag, you're going to keep about 20, I think it is 20% of that amount of money. And uh, if you die and that 20% is more than 4,500, then you can actually die instantly after you, uh, spawn, after you drop back on the map and drop back on the map again. So make sure you know how important that thing you want to buy at the buy station really is, at least until the respawn closes, which is basically the same message as when Gulag closes at the original end game. Notice how I picked up a gas mask there. That was probably my biggest mistake this round, because the mechanics of how you put on and take off the gas mask did not change. Fuck, because of the gas mask. And that situation wasn't all about the gas mask. He landed a perfect stun, and if I wouldn't have killed him before the stun hit me, he would have taken me down regardless. So uh, kudos to that guy. Now during a match of stimulus, it's not all that unusual that uh, one person spawns back into the map, but four, five, maybe six, maybe even seven times, I don't even know. But what I've realized is if I'm in an intense situation in, in a certain area, uh, many times the same guy spawns in back over and over again trying to pick up his loot and I kill him again and again. This is something that started happening with Stimulus that uh, I started killing the same player over and over within a short period of time. Obviously, the first time is a match, the next time he's just trying to get the loot and is completely defenseless. And of course, I've also been killed as I've been trying to get to my loot after I drop it back in on the map again. That's just part of the new metagame of the solo mode in Warzone. Also, and I quote, height and radius at which parachuting enemy players are called out have been reduced. So, whenever you are on the ground and you hear that message about an enemy dropping down from the sky, I don't remember exactly the quote, but when that happens now, that happens when that guy is much closer to you now than before the update.
No! Ah! <laughs> Crazy! So now, when I first started playing this game mode, I didn't even know that there was an update. I didn't pay attention, so I just started a solo match. And uh, as I started playing, I thought I had actually misclicked, and I thought I was in uh, that other game mode called Blood Money, I think. And uh, I actually left the lobby because I thought I was in the wrong game mode. And then I realized that, uh, yeah, this is actually a change to solos. And the first one or two rounds, I was very disappointed. I thought this was a very, very bad, very stupid change. And I thought that, well, if they want to try a new game mode, at least just, you know, add it to it. Don't replace the, uh, the original game mode with it. But it took me, like, maybe two rounds more or something like that. And I really started enjoying this. And as I kept playing, the more I enjoyed it. Now, I'll be honest, I am not a Call of Duty player. I'm a Battlefield player. And I'll be honest again, I am not a Battle Royale player. So when you hear that I like this even more than the original Battle Royale, you have to take it for what it is. I normally do not play Battle Royale games. Instead, I do play the Battle Royale mode every once in a while in those games where I play the game for another purpose. Like, for example, when I played H1Z1, I played the original H1Z1, which later had a name change to just survive. And then occasionally I played some Battle Royale. When I played Firestorm, which is uh, related to Battlefield 5, I was a Battlefield 5 player, and then because Firestorm was added to it, I played a few rounds of Firestorm as well, but I never intentionally choose a game for Battle Royale specifically. And this might be one of the reasons why I am one of the players that really enjoy this uh, new game mode, while more hardcore Battle Royale players probably don't. I was sure I was dead. That's the grau. There you heard it, enemy soldier incoming. When you hear that, check where all the loot is, because he will be trying to gear up. Leif Freddy Eriksson, thank you for the hundred. So now due to the respawn system, one of the things that really changes up is uh, the loot actually. And what I'm talking about is player loot. Because people keep dying over and over and spawning in back again. A lot more people are going for those loadout drops. So what you see is that uh, when players keep dying, they uh, instantly go for the loadout again as soon as they can. And uh, what happens is that you're going to find a map full of these fully upgraded M4 and uh, Grau. Those are the most common weapons. And of course the uh, popular SMGs, the MP5 and the MP7, you see them quite a lot as well. Now the thing about it is that many times when I, like, when I die and I respawn back again, I want to get to my own loot, I want to get my own weapon. But sometimes I just can't find it, and even if I can find it, I might not be able to get to it. But you find so many other similar weapons that, unless you really, really want your specific build for your specific weapons, the only reason why you really want to go for the loadout is for your perks. Otherwise, or well, it's all situational, of course, but in many situations or in many cases, you can just drop on somebody else's loot and get something that is very similar to any of your preferred loadouts. Well, at least if you like M4 and Grau, as I do. Um, it, maybe it's very different for people with sniper loadouts and people that have a um, more of a mobility build with an assault rifle and then go over to the rocket launcher. I couldn't tell because I don't use that kind of loadouts. Now, honestly, I have to say, Call of Duty is growing on me. What I'm missing, of course, is the regular standard big-scale conquest games or conquest modes that you have in yeah. Battlefield, which is why I play that game. And the fact that this game is rather casual is something that I would, I, I might actually get bored with it in a, quite a short period of time if it wasn't for the fact that everything about Call of Duty is relatively new for me and the fact that I almost never have an extended period of time playing a battle royale in any game. Now, if you haven't ever used a thermite grenade and you didn't know how effective it was, 
check out this situation. Now, first off, I have to buy a UAV because I have no idea where there's any enemies. But once I activate it, I see that there's one guy really, really close in the barracks next to me. <laughs> Stuck. And there I broke his armor. <laughs> that scream, though. So yeah, personally I think Stimulus is a lot of fun and I hope they keep it, uh, even though I hope they will implement or they will give us back the regular battle royale as well, I, I would hate to see that go. And if you want to see yet even another example of what it looks like when you get killed by a cheater, then stick to the very end of the video. So big thanks for watching and I hope I'll catch you in the next one. Later. No, why did I have no fucking gas mask? What? What? Oh, that's a cheater. What the fuck? He's shooting me right through the wall. Like every fucking wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a cheater. Yeah, yeah, that's the guy that killed me the first time. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the guy that shot me the first time. That's the guy that shot me out from the... See? It's just... Yeah.